Are you my mother? A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. Hmm. I must go get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Uh-oh. Down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her and he did not see her. There she is, getting a wormy. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Is the kitten his mother? No. So silly. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No way, Jose said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. Is he his mother? No. So silly. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. Is the cow his mother? No. How could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? Hmm. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I just have to find her. I will, I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. This is mother. No, such a silly puppy. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, he said. I am mother. Uh, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. Look at him. So little. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. Oh, no, a snort? But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up. 
And up, up, up went the baby bird. Up, up, up from the snort. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is the snort going to do to me? Get me out of here. There's the little birdie. The big snort. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I? said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Oh, my baby. Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Yay! Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are my mother. Oh, excuse me, I messed up. You are a bird and you are my mother. <gasps> the end. Okay. So I love this book. I know you guys do too. And I know Miss Leah has a copy of it in Spanish that I've read to you guys sometimes. Um, so I wanted to go through and kind of go through some Spanish vocabulary with you guys, as well as, you know, reading some English words. So does anybody remember what this book is called? Are you my mother? Say that with me. Are you my mother? Right here. Are you my mother. And in Espanol, that is, eres tu mi madre. Can you say, eres tu mi madre. Eres tu mi madre. There we go. You guys are off to a great start. Okay, so do you remember what animal this is? You guys know a cat or a young cat. We call a kitten. So this is a kitten. It makes the k sound right here. Here's the word, kitten. Now, what letter does kitten start with? It makes a k sound. K, you're exactly right. So kitten, kind of a long word is spelled K-I-T-T-E-N. Can you guys say it with me? K-I-T-T-E-N. Very good. Does anybody remember how to say kitten or cat in Spanish? Gato is cat. So for a young cat or a small cat or a kitten, we would say gatito. Can you say that with me? Gatito. So cute. Um, so it gatito makes the g sound. So what letter is this right by my finger that makes the g sound? G. Very good. Okay, so now what animal do we have right here next to the birdie? A hen! A chicken! How do we say chicken in Espanol? Gagina. Yes, you guys are so good. So we have hen right here, right by my finger. Um, this is how you spell it. And hen has a h sound. What letter is this right here by my finger that makes a h oh sound. Same with Harrison or happy. H, very, very good. So H-E-N spells hen. Can you say that with me? H-E-N spells hen. Very good. And then we have gagina. G, G. Do we remember what letter makes the G sound? Same with gatito. G. Very, very good. Okay, so what animal is this right here? A dog! You're exactly right. So we have dog is written right here. What is this letter? It has a d sound. Same with daddy or dynamite. A d! You're exactly right. So d-o-g spells dog. Can you say that with me? D-O-G spells dog. Very good. Now, how do we say dog in Spanish? This one's hard for me to say because I don't have the double R rolling. Oh, yeah, I 
got to practice. But it's pero. Can you say pero? Pero, muy bien. Now, what letter does pero start with? P -p -p. Like pineapple, Penelope, pig. P, exactly right. Very good. Okay, so this next animal. What animal is this? A cow, very good. So now, a little bit tricky, we have a different letter that has the same sound as kitten. K, k, that hard k sound. What letter is this? C, muy bien. So both C and K make the k sound. It's a little confusing. But, so we have C, O, W spells cow. Can you say that with me? C O W spells cow. Very good. So now, does anybody remember how to say cow in Spanish? I feel like we've talked about it briefly. Vaca. Can you say vaca? Vaca. Very good. So now we have v, the v sound. What's this letter right here? The beginning of vaca. Same as very. V. Very, very good. Vaca. Okay, so now do you remember what this was? A car! You're exactly right. What letter does car start with? Right here. Same as cat, or carry, or calm. C. You're exactly right. So car is spelled C-A-R. Can you say that with me? C-A-R spells car. Now car in Spanish is caro or coche and has the same letter actually, the k sound. That's a C. So next in the story we have, do you remember what this is? A boat. Exactly. Now in Spanish, a boat is called a barco. Can you say barco? Barco. Muy bien. So boat and barco both start with the same letter right here. B, B. Like baboon or boy. What letter is it? B. You're exactly right. So B O A T spells boat. Okay, so now, what is this a picture of? A plane. There we go. Plane. Now you can say airplane, which starts with an A, or plane, just like in the book, has a P sound, just like pero. What letter is this? P. You're exactly right. So plane is spelled P-L-A-N-E. Can you say that with me? P. L A N E spells plane. Now, how do we say pl airplane in Espanol? Bennett knows for sure. Avion. Can you say that with me? Avion. Now, what letter does avion start with? Same with airplane. A. Very good. The first letter of the alphabet. And then we have our snort. Now, snort, I assume, in Spanish is just snort. I'm not quite sure. Now what letter does snort start with? It has a s sound, like snake, slithering, silently. Yes, muy bien. How you spell snort is S-N-O-R-T, spell snort. Very good.